Yeah. Okay. Hey everyone. So yeah, I'm at work. No pregnancy tests to reveal. No ovulation tests to reveal. Just want to say that, you know, I said I was going to hit the mark. I did. I think I did. We'll see. This cycle is, you know, fingers crossed. I have, um, I have a lot of hope and I have a lot of people that are rooting me on and I'm rooting you all on to. You all know who you are. I just barely making it. I'm trying to do my thing. I'm just trying to survive, guys. Sorry for the people who've reached out. I haven't had a chance to reach back out to. Um, I just wanted to say, okay, so, no, uh, all right, so this time around, where I, I've mentioned before that I'm not going to go, like, the medical route and all that, and I, Mikey doesn't really want to, and that's okay. I, I understand. We're just so busy full-time. He's, like, full-time salary manager, store manager. He, he can't, he's, it's hard enough trying to find a day to yeah, so it's like he has to request a day off of work so that I can come into work at my hotel job. Now, the other job, I get to bring her with me. But this job, I I have to have a whole eight hour planned out for someone to have her. Okay, so I'm at work. I'm going to have some interruptions. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. So, <clears throat> my hotel is kind of dead right now. It's the end of January, almost beginning of February, so we don't really have a lot of workers here right now, which are uh, around here. We get tree company workers, like, I don't want to say the company's names, but usually around the summer, we're booming because not only do we have people vacationing and visiting family, um, you know, getting vacation time in the summer most of the time, but we also, we um, take care of the workers. So these companies come in and they, they live here, basically. So during the winter, like now, we're kind of dead. We're kind of slow, I like to call it. But I do, I just now checked in an, an elder, older lady, old, and um, she, I had to help her down to a room. She need, she had a pain. Okay, so what I was um, about to talk about was, uh, so we're not going down the medical way. Medical, the, like, the more like intrusive like doctor appointments uh, we can't do it we just can't not right now not with a little baby it's just too difficult with no help I don't have that much help with her like I said before like I've said before okay so for people who oh my god I we're being dead I sure am busy <clears throat> back again let's try this one more time everybody she's all alone and she she doesn't even live around here she's from Chicago so I'm trying to help her out with everything that she needs, but like, I can't live out there. I got, I, I... okay, back to what I was saying. I... Oh my gosh, it just sounds like I'm a broken record. I just keep having to repeat what I was starting to say. So anyone who's out there is trying to go the medical way or like the doctor way, the, you know, fertility specialist way, um, your gynecologist talking to them about getting on medications and stuff like that. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, so back when I, when I was doing the medical way, when I went and I did all of the original tests, the testing that you needed to take, which first, you know, they take your, what is it, FSH levels or whatever to see how many eggs you have. I had, I had a, like a point four. I had a four, which they said that was all right. It was average. It was okay. You know, this was years ago. Obviously, it was like two years before Nearest was born, about a year and a half before Nairis was born, Mikey had the lower semen analysis, like the, the lower morphality, but he had high sperm counts. I have a video. You just have to scroll down through my older ones. Uh, I don't remember exactly what, it, what the title was called. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so if you do want to do that, you know, and, and your doctor will prescribe you. So you do all the tests, right? They do your blood work. Everything's fine. You, they check your egg count. That's fine. They check, you know, do, just do all the different tests. One of the, one of the things that they do, it's called an SHG. And it's basically where they, it's like an x-ray kind of, you go and it's a little procedure. It hurts for some people and it, and it, and it doesn't hurt for others. Uh, I guess when you have the blockage, that's when it hurts. I don't know though. Everyone's different. Okay. So they, what they'll do is to make sure that your tubes are open. They will go in with the dye 
and this dye will go up through your tubes to make sure there's spillage. I mean, the fact that I'm trying now is, is like crazy because I, I had to do surgeries to actually get mirrors. But there was a lot of natural things I did that I believe prepared my body for like um, got rid of inflammation in my body. I was on probiotics. I was on vitamins. I was doing this. I was doing, you know, I told you. So if you want to go to your doctor and maybe your gynecologist could actually prescribe it to you instead of going down the other route of like IUIs because me and Mikey tried IUIs. And they do uh, this thing. I wrote it all down. So if you want to go on something, you can ask your, um, you know, if you've been trying for a year and you don't, I don't know. Um, and say you don't ovulate. And you can ask. It wouldn't hurt asking. As long as they test you and all the other tests come back good. And it's just that you're not ovulating, which they can do progesterone tests, which I went through all that, you know. I was always ovulating. I was always ovulating. I never had a problem with that. It wasn't that. It was just my adhesions and my scars and that little tiny endometriosis. My blood was fine. My everything else, I was fine. I had a good egg count for my age. I had four. Um, so let me see. So if you want to get on letrozole, I don't know. It's something you could always ask. Get. You know, I had. I was on letrozole. So it uh, it generates FSH. The ovaries become stimulated, growing more follicles. I've never had an issue with ovulation personally, but letrozole may help someone who is not ovulating but also makes someone like myself super ovulated because uh, you gotta be careful with you know because it's it's like because it, it tries to get the most follicles to do its thing you know what i mean so it could also cause oh it could release more than one egg is what i uh more yeah um i had so uh, the, so then yeah so my progesterone level they would check on make sure i really ovulated when i was trying to do the iuis um yeah so i definitely was so, if you're someone who doesn't ovulate, and you know that, um, this could be something you could talk to your gynecologist about, maybe fertility specialist, who knows, and then go from there. And also, if you're someone who does ovulate, but you're trying to time things, and yeah, get on this, get ask about this, do your own research, talk to your own doctor. But that's something else I just wanted to jump in here and put on my video while I'm at work. Um, okay, bye. Yes, so basically... <sighs> all right so what i was trying to say i just kept getting interrupted so much i was all over the place i'm very sorry about that but there's many tests that you can take um you just have to go and start you just have to start the journey if you know there's a problem you have been trying for a year or more i think i believe they say that if you're under the age of 35 and you have been trying for a year it's time to go see a fertility specialist and they said that if you're over the age of 35, then it's time to see a fertility specialist at, after trying for six months. See, I was over 35 trying for nearest at, by the time. Well, I was under 35 at first, and then I hit the 35-year mark. So I really, really was already under construction with the fertility specialists, and I was doing my own thing. Like I said, anyone who knows what happened, if you watched my earlier videos, I had nearest naturally. Yes, I had surgeries. Yes, I tried everything. I did two IUIs. They failed. I, it all came down to breathing, letting go, you know, just living every day, saying and trusting that whatever is going to be is going to be. And trust me, I was the last one that wanted to hear that crap. Like, sh don't tell me to stop trying. That's what I would literally say. I would think to myself, like, what are they talking about? Like, I don't, what do you mean stop trying and it'll happen? Like, I've already tried for years. When I, you know, I've, I've stopped. I didn't realize there was a problem until year, you know, two. And I'm like, so if I wasn't even really, really concerned, then why didn't it happen? Then I added in ovulation tests. Then I ovulated. And then I um added in all the stress. And we tried for, you know, a long, long time. Surgeries. Everything that, that I put into my videos that I've already said before. Don't want to sound like a broken record. It was literally when we stopped trying <laughs> that it happened. All right. So I just wanted to put that out there. Thank you for calling Quality In. This is Nikki. How can I help you? Okay, would it be for tonight?
Okay, the jacuzzis are all sold out for sure, but we have plenty of other rooms if you just wanted to walk in. We got plenty of them. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh. I feel you, Gary. I feel you, buddy. <laughs>